Well, today is the day. We take the EV on a huge adventure around the world. It sounds like a joke, right? But no, today, in one day, I am gonna drive and charge all over the world, completing a complete circle around the world. Oh, the trunk. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna bring any luggage with me on this trip. The only thing I'm gonna do today is uh, charge as I travel around the entire world but not with Chatamo. I think I'm just going to charge with this. If I can't find a charger that doesn't work with this adapter, I'm gonna get stranded. So my plan today is drive all over, almost every road that I can around Walt Disney World. I had you guys fooled, didn't I? And I'm gonna burn some mileage, burn some juice out of the car, drain the battery down as far as I can go. And then I'm gonna head on over to a, a CCS charger and use the Dongguan technology. I, I gotta learn the name of the company because it's not just Dongguan, I was informed by a viewer. It's uh, something technology. Actually, I will have a, a, a link to their webpage other than the Alibaba, Alibaba stuff in the description below so you can see everything that this company does rather than just seeing the one CCS charger because they may have other products that you may like and also it tells a little bit about the company. But that's the plan today. Take the car, cruise around, around Walt Disney World. I don't know if I'll run into a park. I might. I might get hungry and have to run into Epcot or something and get lunch. Um, but other than that, we're just going to drive around property, drain the battery a little bit, head over to a charger, and see the speeds that we could possibly get using that. Now, the only EV goes in our area, most of them are all just 50 kilowatts, nothing really much more than that. But we'll see if we can get close to that using that, char that adapter. So I'm driving down the road, heading over to Disney World property, watching Dolly's video as I start to uh, kind of check out what my mileage is. I have 172, 72% seven, battery at the moment, so I just need to drain it down a little. Don't know how much longer I'm gonna have to run around here to get my energy low enough to where I can get a pretty fast charger, test the speed on this adapter. Uh, I don't know, but from what he's on, he's, he's talking about then, other uh, people attempting how, to charge. How they can sell a product that has only been tested. His videos are so interesting. Uh, I find that a bit strange. Okay, on Disney property, basically, this is the entrance off of 192. I'm gonna go ahead and cruise and uh, try and burn some energy. Starting our trip around the world it's going to continue straight and pass by the magic kingdom go back where uh, employees all go in to go to work behind the magic kingdom there's a back road that comes out and i think i will turn on that and head to the car wash just due to the fact i you know i'm at 69 percent by the time I get to the car wash, eh, it'll be time to head to the charger. Another thing is spring break is going on. I was gonna take you guys into the parks. I was gonna make this video really fun, really trying to travel around the world, going to Epcot and just hitting the different countries. But then I realized, you know, with spring break happening, you don't wanna do that. It, it, it's crazy here right now. Parking lots are all starting to fill up, pretty jam-packed, which means avoid the Magic Kingdom on a Thursday. Well, pretty much any day of the week. All right, pass, getting ready to, oh, yellow light, yellow light, stop. I was actually thinking about taking the back road in where all the employees live, because there's numerous condominium complexes and apartments 
I was thinking about going in there and then taking the back way in the way everybody goes to work at Disney. But I think I'm just going to take the tourist entrance, come on in and just drive maybe towards the Magic Kingdom, do a U-turn, come back, head over towards downtown Disney. And by then I should probably have about 65%. Head over, get a car wash, then try and charge the car. That should get my battery level down to a, a, a respectable point to where I should be able to get some decent fast charging, hopefully. And just as you pass the bus entrance, you come back to the monorail repair place where they work on the monorail. Well, actually, it, that is behind the Contemporary Resort, which we're coming up on at the moment. Through the trees, you'll see the castle on your left, Space Mountain up here on your left, and Tron. Look at that, sights that you don't normally see. The monorail passing by Space Mountain. So we're gonna go behind Space Mountain, behind Tron building, where the indoor portion of the Caution. roller coaster is. Road with restricted access. I know it's restricted. I know it's restricted. But look at that. Now, I do not want to be showing you guys everything back here because a lot of it is restricted. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off until I get out of the backstage area. All right, I went ahead and got off the back side of the property where all the stuff is that the public probably shouldn't see. So I'm not going to show it. I'm going to drive on around through the normal part of Disney and head over to the car wash right now and it should put me at about in the 50s. I should have about 50% battery. Get the car wash and get over to the charger. Just hoping the chargers are working. A lot of times they're either busy or broken. At the moment, I am at the car wash. I am down to 59%. It looks like 144 miles with the AC going. Why? Because, well, it is 80 degrees already. 80 degrees! Time, AC running. I mean, the day can't get much better other than hopefully I can get a working charger and get the adapter to work at this other EV go. Okay, we made it over here to EVGO, and these are not ABB chargers. This EVGO is actually a Delta, both of these are. But not only that, this site also has Signet chargers. So we have some Signet chargers here, so I can actually try both of these while we're here to see if it works on Signet and Delta. Is this thing on? Is it working? It is, I think. It is, it's working. Okay, so. Let's uh, put the remote control for the camera over there. Uh, I had some people in the comments saying that um, a lot of the EV goes are switching from ABB to Delta chargers. So um, it, it, that worries me a little bit, uh, especially at the moment, because I know this does work on ABB. Let me go ahead and grab my phone over here, take my sunglasses off. And uh, first attempt will be at a Delta charger. Let's find our location. Oh, it's so sunny and hot out. Okay, here we are. Sun Plaza. We are at Toro is the name of our machine. Okay, so first thing, first is first. I know you guys can't see nothing but I promise I will be moving everything. I just wanted to show this first. So stimulus charging, simultaneous charging available. First, we are going to plug this in. Okay, now you guys watch that. I gotta, I am going to uh, start the charger. Start, let's see what happens. 
Okay, press the button. Hold the button down. Stretch this thing way over. Ugh. Plug it in. It's locked in. Let's see if this works. Let's work. Please work. Connecting to vehicle. It connected. Or I heard the button. Click. And for those of you also uh, wondering, I do drive a 2021 Nissan Leaf 62 kilowatt hour battery. Um, let's see here, it's still connecting to vehicle. Let me see if the light on the dash is clicking. The light is not going. Is the light on the connector still working? Light on the connector is flashing. Connecting to vehicle. Connection error. Let's try this again. Let me see if I can get it going. I'm gonna pause you guys. Okay, I'm trying again. Connecting to vehicle. Green light is flashing on the adapter. Don't know if it's going to work here. It is a Delta unit. If it doesn't work here, we'll try the one over there, which is a Signet. Connection error. So it's not gonna work here, that's two times. So we shall move the car. Let's try this again. The recording it is so bright outside, it's so hard to see anything. So let's put the remote control here, open up the charge port. Man, and bright, close. So let's try Signet, what is this name? Timmy, so this charger is named Timmy. We'll set it to start charging, but before we do that, let's connect the cable here. This is a, I don't know what the power is on this, but this is a Signet. So let's hit start charging, let's see what it does. Okay, it's connecting, connecting to your vehicle, so I'm pressing the button here on this charger. It is flashing. Let's plug it on in. Okay, here we go. Connecting to your vehicle. Exchanging charging parameters is what it says. Let me show you guys. Is it gonna work? Is the Signet gonna work? Oh man, it is zoomed way in. I gotta zoom out. Hmm. It's charging. It's charging. Signet, oh, detect, connection error detected. Uh oh.
Okay, something odd is happening at the moment. Uh, it faulted, but my charge session is still going on the app. So it is saying, hold on a second here. It is saying starting error close. If I hit start charging, it does say error starting. But at the top, it's showing my session is uh, still going. For three minutes now, it's been going for three minutes. So let's try it again. Okay, Timmy, error starting. Please unplug. It says, please unplug, wait 10 seconds, plug the connector, then try installation or starting the session. Hmm, that's new. That's a, that's a new one on me. Let's try Chatamo. I had to put my camera back in the car and start using my phone just due to the fact my battery died in the middle of recording this. So it is saying connection error detected. So, so far, Signet and the Delta chargers, well, the Delta started, but then stopped. This one just went straight to a, I believe, I, I remember, I, I think this is the one that went straight to an error. Well, that is not good. So I have no idea exactly what that means. So on the Delta units, like I said, it, it was started and then it faulted. Came over here to the Signet ones and all, basically almost the same thing. But then it was doing something weird to the phone application for these chargers. Even though it wasn't charging the car and it faulted out and I, it, the car was totally unplugged. The, the, on the, at least uh, the, the charger shows it wasn't doing anything. But on the phone app, it was accumulating minutes, you know, doing the count up thing for the fee. And there was no way to stop it. I swiped the app away force closed it, reopened it, and it was still doing it. So that was kind of an odd thing. But uh, yeah, so, so far at the moment, it looks like the Delta kind of tried. Signet, not so much. Oh well, um, I can charge here. The, the, the Chatamo, all the Chatamos seem to work just fine. But uh, it costs money here. So I'm gonna go on up to a charge point at the car dealership, charge there. Uh, or, you know, I don't have to worry about stuff coming out of my bank account at the moment. And uh, see how that goes. And, and you know what? We'll give this thing a test over at the charge point. I've actually tried the unit with this firmware before and it has not worked. So I went ahead and just plugged in the Chatamo. I am at the point where I need to charge because I'm going to go do some rideshare and Uber and DoorDash. I'm looking forward to the day where we get, we're able to use all these chargers just at the moment. It looks like it's hit or miss. Basically, ABB works. I can go over to the EVgo that has the ABB charger on it, and it works just fine. The Delta, it was very close, though there was something odd. I didn't really notice this at first. Or I, I mean, I noticed it, but I didn't say anything on video about it. When I was at the Delta charger, it fired up, connected to the car, showed I had 50%, which I had 53, but the charging unit said I had 50. That's, that's, is what it is. It's not, it's very close, but not totally accurate. Then when it faulted out after about five to six seconds, the pump said faulted out, but on the app, on your phone, it was still ticking. It was still ticking. And for that little test, I got charged $5. When I disconnected it and, and everything finally cleared and it stopped charging me, I tried it again and it faulted out and I got charged another $5. So I, I just spent $10 on nothing um, because the timer kept going. Even though there was zero kilowatts put into the car, I still got charged five and five. Now, I, I, maybe that place has a connection fee. I don't know, that could be it and the car did connect, I just received zero charge. So I, maybe it's a connection fee. But yeah, that's it. Um, I'm sorry today's video is just a hodgepodge of nothingness. 
not really going out and doing anything. I'm going to go do some work before I have to head to Miami later tonight. Oh, no, I'm on. I'm not. I'm going to Plant City where the Strawberry Festival is. That's where I'm going. So I got to go there and uh, drive truck over there all night. But late, you know, for this afternoon, I need to get a charge. I'm going to go make a little extra cash doing ride share and food delivery. And uh, for everybody that has been a follower of mine on my channel for quite a while now, I am not going to be doing this type of stuff all the time. I'm going to go back to hitting the theme parks, going to the beaches, roadside attractions, dinners, whatever. And I, But I am going to incorporate doing all that stuff from my electric car because I need to test this thing out. So I'm going to be using this 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 adapter to get places to do stuff so if we're going to walt disney world or we're going to universal studios or we're going to go do something like that sometime within that video i am going to be testing that charger just because it's so important here in the united states may not be important to you but there are a lot of nissan leaf owners here in the registered in the united states I believe there's like 400,000. I think worldwide there's like 800,000 cars here in the United States. We have a large, you know, we don't have the same amount of cars that maybe Europe has or Japan has. But there's quite a few cars here in the United States and we need this product to work. So I'm out here testing it and testing it. And once I get my debugging cable, I'm going to be doing connecting my computer to it while it's at the pump so that will be incorporated into the videos while we're out at the water parks while we're out at the beach at the tiki huts wherever shark you know shark boats whatever so um i'm not forgetting you guys that like to see florida and stuff like that or see the road you know my little road trips or hopping on airplane stuff that i do once or twice a year but i think it's important to incorporate this in for the Nissan people and other people that use this kind of charging network. I, I know there's a, a few other, ha a handful of other cars that use this standard of charging that could really benefit from this. So that's the plan. So I finally, after so many years, figured out what I want to do with my channel. I want to make it, I want to continue travel, continue seeing things, but a little bit better video quality along with incorporating technology for electric cars such as ev charging adapters and anything else that i might be able to get my hands on anyway until the next time i'm going to go ahead and finish charging go deliver some food maybe pick up a passenger or two and i'll see you guys on the next one until then peace everybody